Episode 13, let's go. So a quick update of our development of two houses in the lovely sleepy village of Churhill. Uh, things are underway, we've been waiting for a drainage condition um, or design to be completed um, to do with the storm, which is all now sorted so we can uh, crack on and get that resolved and get that installed. We've shaped up all the car park area, um, done majority of the parking bays um, and the plot works have been oversighted and We've done a splash course, a bit of drainage to complete, um, and then we can get this car park handed back to the owners, and then we can crack on with our plots, but we want to get this car park area done first. So let's have a look. This is the car park area, obviously. Um, obviously parking bays to mark out and stuff. Um, some deep drainage over in that corner. Uh, we've got a couple of We've got a lamp, uh, lamp post to go in. Uh, parking bay here for one of the plots. Um, and then obviously it's round to damp now. Um, drainage, drainage going in. It's been a bit of a nightmare with the drainage to be perfectly honest. Um, but yeah, lovely brick. You can see that, but great match for the, for the local area. Water's in. Uh, it's going to be, we're going for air source heat pumps out here for this oil but all lovely and oversighted some eco drains to go in and down um, but other than that looking good so got waiting for a delivery of a, a flow control chamber which means we can then complete the drainage and we are done and we can section off our plot area and um, start rising uh, get up to get them in the dry so there we have it got the bricks need to get them in good time so complete the footpath that goes down probably the footpath goes in there up there but other than that all the hard work sort of out of the way so this week we've got apprentices coming in to interview for our September intake. So I thought I would go through how to become an apprentice and how to become a bricklayer after your apprenticeship. We'll also catch up with Gardner, who was the labourer from episodes 12 on the Saturday, who explained to us why he doesn't do Monday and then he proceeded to have the Monday on. So we will be catching up with Mr Gardner and seeing what he's got to say for himself. So I've just completed the first interview of a potential new apprentice who's starting in September. We will be aiming to take on six apprentices uh, this year. We took on five last year. Uh, so we want to try and um, stay around that level. We're quite comfortable with that. So I just wanted to explain uh, to any potential wannabe apprentices on the process of how it goes. So a brickwork apprenticeship is a 30 month placement uh, one day a week is at college, four days a week on site. We, um, any apprenticeship uh, pays you for your education time, so you're one day at college. But the apprentice uh, hourly rate has just been increased by the government, so it's around £4.83 uh, or £4.85 uh, an hour. Uh, you only get paid for, for the hours that you work when you're on site, so if you get uh, rained off or snowed off, windy, no materials etc uh, all our apprentices in in our in our business are paid on a weekly basis one week in, ar in arrears uh, straight into their account and we provide all their tools but only once just when they're led around and get stolen and left out and go rusty once you expect it to look after them it's around three 350 pounds worth of tools we get them a, a stability level um, you know, we kit them out, Marshall Town trowels. We don't, we don't skimp on it. Um, I've got a, um, a little package that I've put together for um, uh, for each new apprentice that starts. We believe it sets them off 
uh, on the right path and shows our commitment to them and the type of recruit we're trying to encourage to come and work for us. So we try to give them all the bells and whistles. We provide all their personal protective equipment, their hard at high vis. We give them hoodies, t-shirts. Uh, they're sent to our, our uh, PPE provider and they're all measured up. We built an apprenticeship pack uh, so they can go in and they get some masks, t-shirts, goggles, um, the boots, gloves. Uh, and they're all kitted out, they're all branded. They're, they all wear red hard hats to, to symbolize that they're a trainee and they're new and we have to be cautious. Uh, they are expected to have a CSCS card, which is more than I can say for uh, the more mature bricklayers who still don't have them. And that's about it. Um, we start them off uh, with a bit of labouring just to bring them up to speed, you know, physically and from a fitness level. They're expected to get to sight of their own accord. Again, that is our own personal um, way of doing things. We believe it instills a bit of independence in them. Um, and a little bit of commitment on their part that they're going to get to sight each day. Uh, and I, I say it all the time, you know, when I've given speeches at the college or when I've done interviews, we're not looking for any superpowers. Hard working, on time, polite, zero tolerance for health and safety. It's really the basics of being a good employee and a decent human being. The position is open to men and women. We also conduct Apprentice of the Month, which is done via a scoring system. So each apprentice has to go to their foreman at the end of each week and they get their timesheets completed and signed. And then they are marked on health and safety, uh, attendance, timekeeping, quality of work. And then we tally them score up, scores up across a four week period. And then we announce uh, Apprentice of the Month. We award them a prize. You can win it multiple times. Um, there's no limit to it. Uh, we have multiple winners. I think we had two last month, two the month before on, on the same score. Uh, we've awarded tools, uh, driving lessons, uh, Amazon vouchers, uh, PPE, um, you know, lunch bags and kit bags. Uh, so, we, we, you know, we try and give decent, decent presents, uh, brick buddies we've also given out before. And I think that's about it. So if you're interested in um, Get, uh, so fantastic trade to get in you can go and work anywhere in the world you, you know Australia Germany France you can build your own house you can do private jobs extensions garden walls porches build a wall for your man <clears throat> and it's a fantastic uh, trade to get into we're working hard to try and encourage uh, new talent into the industry train them the correct way and um, retain that talent when it's uh, trained when it has a good work ethic and can remain for us and become an asset to our business. So once your apprenticeship is complete, you have the option to come and work for us, you know, on a full time basis and, and retain your position. So, um, but we, you know, this is our fourth, fourth year, maybe. Um, so very positive. Uh, we get a lot of great feedback and um, there's some cracking lads out there and we'll see a few this week. So any questions about apprentices? Stick them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Guess who won Apprentice of the Month this month? Oh, it's you, Alfie. Well, how many times is this now, mate? Three, I think. Three times? Think Jesus so, Christ, really? I need to have a fucking chat about these scores, don't I? There's Harry. He's another right. apprentice. He was an apprentice, wasn't you? Yeah. Is there a word on the street you want to be an apprentice? I do, mate. Yeah. You do? I do. Well, you have to come to an interview, mate. So, Harvey and Alfie started in September. So, what's the best thing about being an apprenticeship, in an apprenticeship? Yeah? Starting at the bottom, working your way up, yeah. earning some money? Yeah, that's it. What's the worst part of being a bricklayer and apprentice? Working with Steve. <laughs> <laughs> working with Steve. Yeah. Was, is, it more fi is, it, is it more physical than you thought or not? No? What about the cold weather? Oh, that's, that's, that's not it. Yeah. What about, I suppose you haven't really done a summer yet, have you? No. Proper, proper summer. I'm wait, good. Wait until it's, wait until it's hot. How tall are you, Harvey? Jesus Christ. <laughs> you got to be about six foot five, haven't you? So, Alfie, congratulations, mate. Well done. 
So this week for YouTube, I thought I'd do a little bit of footage of our, of our apprenticeships because a lot of people are, are, are inquiring and whatever. So these two lads started in September. So there's a three month trial period, which they both successfully passed. Harry, how long you been with us now, Harry? Good three years. Good three years. Yeah. So yeah, Harry's a good lad. And then Caelan, you want to talk to me about an apprenticeship, yeah? I do. Why do you want to be a bricklayer? Um, good job. It's a good job. Good career. Good, good answer, yeah. So we'll catch up with some other apprentices uh, shortly on another site, but um, yeah, Harry's been with us and successfully completed his MVQ. Um, Harvey and Alfie joined in September, so they will be year twos in September, and we'll put two more in this gang so they can follow on in the footsteps of these two, and they got a little bit of support to um, show them the way and how things work. So um, we'll go and see some other lads now. So Owen is a first year apprentice, soon to be going into his second year. He's a good lad. He's won Apprentice of the Month a few times as well. Didn't win it this month, no. Owen. Unfortunately, Alfie won it. Yeah, but yeah working in the rain. Yeah. The best thing shifts on an old laying bricks. Laying, well. Good answer. Best yeah, things laying see. bricks. And you should have said working with Giuseppe. Yeah, so yeah. Jeff, Giuseppe had a big influence on me, and I'm one of the best. I'm probably the best brother, and I, Joe. Yeah, 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 see? So where's your tools? Um, hey, Jack Pass is there today. Yeah, he sent me a picture. Yeah, right, Jack passed. Yeah, Jack, said, Jack passed his test. So these, this is the tool bags we provide for our apprentices. Although Owens has seen better days, but um, we kit them out with all the gear. Uh, Marshall Town Trail. There you go. He's on the blade over there. Um, but everything they need. Have you still got your level, Owen? Yeah. Yeah. We even get him a Stabila level. He's got better tools than some experienced bricklayers. Any key? Who's that? Owen. He has, he's got a brand new level. Brand new level. Where is it? Probably looks like a concrete lintel now, but but yeah. Getting on well. Um, and he will be going into his second year. And we will put two more apprentices here. Uh, and they will because we've got um, Harry here as well. Where is Harry today? He's doing some snagging, doing some snagging is he? Okay. Harry's a good lad as well. But yeah, keep it up, Owen. Hey, you're coming up to your first summer, aren't you? Yeah. Get your sun cream on, mate. It's going to be hot. Well, hopefully. But yeah, we get them on the trowel. Let's see. Evidence that they lay bricks and blocks. We don't just use them as slave labour. Do we, Giuseppe? He laid them bricks there. Look at them. Look at that, look. Perfect. There you go. Look at them. Lovely. Good work. Ted's fully fledged now. Ted's Mr. Experience. Ted's even a father now, ain't you, Ted? So Ted is successfully um, Ted successfully completed his apprenticeship as well, ain't you, Ted? Now, Ted, we're doing a little bit this week on apprenticeship. So, what has been the best thing and the worst thing about a brickwork apprenticeship? Best is working with all you boys. Yeah. Worse than cleaning the cavities. Yeah, yeah, cleaning the cavities is worse. Bit. Listen, come on. Now, you need to explain to the YouTubers what the hell happened on Monday. So, we, this Mike worked Saturday for cash. And then what happened Monday, Mike? Went out Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Hang it. Hang so, it. so, what did you do? What I want to know what you done Monday. How did, how did Monday go? What did you get up to? Sunday. No, Monday he weren't fucking in, was he? Oh yeah, so what did you do Monday? So what did you do Monday? Right, what time did you get to bed? Oh, well, fuck me, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah. So, well, my alarm goes six. Yeah. I need a good seven, eight hours sleep. Well, yeah. Right, so how many Class A drugs did you do on Sunday? None. 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 <laughs> <laughs> right. So what did you do throughout Monday on your extra day off? Still stayed at home and chilled out, so I'm hanging. Just chilled out, yeah? So yeah. this Monday was Easter, is that going to feel any different to you or just like a normal... You looking forward to it? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Right, well you're not working this Saturday. No, 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 no. <laughs> so this labourer, he was so tired he fell asleep in the drying room last week. I don't know what Still time... Here, I don't know what time you went to bed. What time did you get to bed that night? When I got into the canteen. <laughs> oh, is, that, is that why you was asleep? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> it's not that hard graft, is it? Right, we are back on the extension in Oxford, the one with the pig in the footing, which for those guys that don't know a pig, it's when you've got a 75 mil difference from one end of the building to the other. So effectively an additional course of, of bricks, but we got it out anyway. So the steels are on now and we've just got to square up this bit, carries on up to plate right now, a couple of bedrooms. So here with the big bro Paul, my boy Charlie, although we've just loaded out my boy Charlie down there somewhere. Um, but um, had some help from the lads working, uh, getting, the, getting the blocks up, so ready to go. So we're time lapse it and we'll see how far we get. Right, Saturday shift is done. No, Friday. It's good Friday. Hey. <laughs> These beige blocks are about 10 mil big and the and the other ones, the greyer ones, are about five mil small. But anyway, got it up ready for a scaffold lift. Get back tomorrow for the second shift. So we'll time lapse that as well. We've got a little bit of the front to do, um, which is hopefully more straightforward than this little episode. But anyway, peace out, have a good Easter everyone, see you tomorrow. Right back in the beautiful city Ox of Oxford for round two on Saturday. So Paul's out the back cutting some blocks to get us back coursing across the lintel. Charlie went out last night so he's a little bit jaded. I woke him up with nine minutes before we uh, left this morning. So let's see how he performs today. And uh, we've got to fill in this little bit on the front here now. So this comes through, this comes through now, here, across here, up to wall plate height, perfect is in. That's it for another episode. Uh, have good Easter. There's big stuff behind me. There's Charlie down there. Where is he? Down there. So have a good Easter. Catch you in the next episode. Please like, comment and subscribe.